Your Tar Heel traveler enjoys anything vintage. And don't forget, the vintage can have bells and whistles. Scott Mason takes us all the way to Western North Carolina to the Asheville Pinball Museum. It's a success story in Asheville. A husband and wife who are having a ball. My wife Brandy here, she bought me a uh, pinball machine for my birthday. Jackpot. Then I bought another one and another one. Then he read about a pinball museum in Seattle. And I turned to her and I said, that'd be a great idea here in Asheville. Right on cue. I could see the gleam. <laughs> Fantastic. And then the search began for pinball machines. May the force be with you. And calling people and finding a machine, and we didn't have a lot of money, so we maxed out the credit cards. A knockout blow, but they shook it off. Shoot again! It's gone on better than I anticipated. Two times better. Select your victory award. The Asheville Pinball Museum. There's nothing else like it. There's no video simulation that can really quite match the weird sort of ever-changing physics of the whole machine. I mean, pinball machines are real. I mean, the whole game is just real. Hot school. You don't see pinball machines anymore. Some cities once outlawed. Not considered a game of skill. It was a game of luck, so it was gambling. But total bonus. The ball is in play today. And because we charge a flat rate and you're not pumping quarters in over and over, if you lose that ball, you just press the button again and you start over. Shoot again. Our oldest one's a 1947 called Marjorie. We've got an Adams Family, the most popular machine of all time. You can watch the years go by just walking in and looking around. Look around, read the history. The only place that you're going to see Super Mario Brothers next to the Phantom of the Opera, next to Police Force, and have it make sense. No two machines are the same. You know, they may be similar, but they're different. It's all in the wrist. It's, it's funny because teenagers will laugh at their parents because their parents have turned into little kids. And I always tell them, I say, think about if your video games disappeared for 30 years and you walked into a shop and there they were again. That's what this is. This is a getaway, a power play, free play. Grand champion. I think anytime you get to see joy, like, you know, genuine joy, it's, it's worth it. Most definitely, it's worth it. <laughs> I was always so terrible at pinball. The Asheville Pinball Museum features more than 70 machines and video games. You can play as long as you like for a flat fee of $15.